Whether you're stuck in the daily commute, hopping in the car to visit friends, or going off on holiday, it's pretty much impossible to avoid using some Hello. form of transport in our lives. Thank you, bye-bye. Around a quarter of all greenhouse gas emissions in the European Union come from transport in the form of carbon dioxide. MEPs agreed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions compared to 1990 levels by 40% by 2030. They also called for a 40% energy efficiency target and a binding 30% target for renewable energy. So just which are the worst offenders when it comes to passenger travel? The time back maintenant. If I decide to get the train, well, with 156 passengers on board with me, that would cause 14 grams of carbon dioxide per passenger per kilometre. OK, do we hit the road? Sure. So if I want to travel by car, well, with four passengers inside, that would produce around 42 grams of carbon dioxide per passenger per kilometre. Of course, another option is the electric car. But it depends very much how the electricity is produced. If it's by coal, this could be even more polluting than a normal car. But if it's from renewable sources, then it could be one of the cleanest forms of energy. OK, see how this works? Oh, OK, pretty simple, actually. Well, how about the bus? Well, with 13 people on board, that would produce an average of 68 grams of carbon dioxide per passenger per kilometre. Good morning, Captain. Good morning. Are we ready to go? Yes, let's go. Thank you. So how does being on a boat measure up? Well, with around 100 passengers on board, that would produce around 116 grams of carbon dioxide per passenger per kilometre. Oh, coming. Hi. So if I fancy going by motorbike, well, with one passenger on board, the bike will produce around 60 grams of carbon dioxide per kilometre. As with all the figures from the European Environment Agency, they're based on an average usage. So if you take the average statistic of 1.2 people on a motorbike, then the CO2 output becomes 72 grams. So how about if I decide to get the plane? So with 88 passengers on board, well, that would produce around 285 grams of carbon dioxide per passenger per kilometre. That makes going by air by far the highest polluting form of transport. Really, if you want to go completely carbon free, then you can't beat the trusty two wheels of a bike.